This video is designed to show you how to do a calibration check with an MIR Spiro Lab Spirometer and either the MIR reusable turbine or the Flowmere disposable turbine and a 3 liter syringe. For this video, we will be showing the MIR reusable turbine. Because the Flowmere disposable turbine is pre calibrated when it is manufactured, it may not be necessary to do a calibration check unless it is required by your facility or organization. The calibration check procedure is exactly the same if you are using the Flowmere disposable turbine. The American Thoracic Society recommends that a calibration check be done daily before using the spirometer. The purpose of doing a calibration check is to verify that the spirometer can measure a known quantity of air at a variety of flow rates. For flow spirometers like the MIR spirometers, we need to check the calibration at three flows, high, medium, and low. To do the calibration check, you will need the MIR Spirolab Spirometer, an MIR reusable turbine, or the Flowmere disposable turbine, and a 3 liter calibration syringe. The American Thoracic Society recommends that when using a disposable turbine, you use a new one for each calibration check. Remember that the calibration syringe needs to be sent back to its manufacturer once a year to be checked and recalibrated for accuracy. To begin the calibration check, insert a cardboard mouthpiece into the flow meter. If you are using the flow meter disposable turbine, insert it into the flow meter. Connect the flow meter to the 3 liter calibration syringe, making sure you have a tight seal so there are no air leaks, and pull the syringe plunger all the way out. Turn on the Spiralab, and at the home screen select Settings. Tap the box to enter the setting password. The password to enter settings is 122333. Select Calibration from the list at the left side of the screen. This will take you to the calibration menu. Select Factory Values and tap OK to confirm factory calibration. You will be doing a total of nine maneuvers, three at high flow, three at medium flow, and three at low flow. Now, select New Calibration. This screen will show you the inspiratory and expiratory loops you will make as you do the calibration check at the three different flow rates. Begin pushing the plunger in as quickly and forcibly as possible, being sure to go all the way to the stops. Now pull the plunger all the way out as quickly and as forcibly as possible. Repeat this two more times. After you have done the high flow, now push the plunger in at a medium speed and pull it out at the same medium speed. Repeat two more times. And finally, for the low speed, push the plunger in at a very slow speed and out at the same slow speed, repeating two more times. At the completion of the slow speed, stop and the device will automatically calculate the results and show you the expiratory and inspiratory calibration check numbers. We are looking for the calibration check to be within plus or minus 3%. If this is within the range, tap OK and the calibration test is done. You can print out the calibration check report by tapping the print icon in the lower right corner and insert the results into your file. If the results are outside the plus or minus 3% range, then repeat the test for a second time by restoring factory values and doing a new calibration. Always check to be sure that you have a tight seal and that no air is leaking at the syringe and the turbine. If the results are still outside of the 3% range again, redo the test for a third time, checking to be sure you have a tight seal and that no air is leaking at the syringe and the turbine. And be sure to pull and push the syringe piston all the way to the built-in stops in each direction. If you do not get a passing range of plus or minus 3%, contact MIR Customer Support. Initially, you may experience results that are out of range, but as you repeat the procedure, you will become more consistent with the speeds at which you are pushing the plunger, 
and your results will become more accurate. 